Okay, Shannon, sure. today we are going to discuss differences between sexual and asexual modes of reproduction. Difference between sexual and asexual modes of reproduction. Okay, sure. so children, the type of reproduction is two types ratio, basically sexual and asexual. Children, asexual is in animals. Same thing we will call vegetative reproduction in plants. That's all. Okay, so difference between sexual and asexual reproduction we will discuss today in the first. This is the first topic you should know in the reproduction. Okay, children in sexual reproduction, male and female organisms are involved. Male and female means two different. Okay, now in asexual, only single parent is involved. Only single parent is involved. Single. Either male or female, that's all. Okay, children? Let's try to understand the difference. Very, very important, children. Because male and female organisms are involved, compulsory male and female gametes are formed. Then you'll ask, no, sir, what is meant by gametes? Gametes, children. In males, gametes are sperms. In females, gametes are ova. Okay, children? Like, in males, I'm talking about human beings. In males, gametes are sperms. In females, are ova. Like that. Because male and female are the gametes compulsory to be there. Because here, only single parent children, no formation of any gametes. Or if gametes are formed also, one only will be there. But no gametes will be there. Gametes means that in male sperms, in females, ova. Okay, children? And in your plants, like sexual reproduction affects two flower more children. In plants, uh, we'll be having like uh, uh, pollen break produces two male gametes. And in uh, uh, flower, uh, stigma will be there. In stigma, ovules will be there. And in ovules, inside ova and uh, two central nucleus will be there. They act as a female gametes. Because male and female organisms are there, male and female gametes will form. And here, single parent is there, no gametes. I hope you are. Understand, children. Don't worry. You will understand. Children, when gametes are there, compulsory gametes will be used. Fusion of male and female gametes <coughs> takes place. Can anyone say what is fusion of male and female gametes is called? Zygo. Can anyone say what is uh, fusion of male and female gametes is called? Fertilization. Fertilization, very good. Fertilization. Fertilization occurs. Because male and female gametes are there, no children. They have to fuse. Sperm and ova will fuse. Famous question, children, in general, both many times asked. Where fertilization occurs in human beings, in female oviduct. Sperm and ova will fuse in female oviduct. Oviduct other than is fallopian tube. Like that. Okay, children? No problem. So because male and female gametes are there, they will fuse. Fertilization occurs. Here, no gametes, so no fertilization. Fertilization won't be there. Please try to understand, children. Please try to understand. Whatever I'm saying is very, very important question. Five marks question they're asking in board exam. Difference between sexual and asexual reproduction. Children, because fertilization occurs, the offsprings which you get, offspring means children. Okay? Offsprings means uh, the, the parent will get uh, individual. Okay, children. The offsprings, the offsprings, the offsprings. Will have variations. Variations will have. What is variation? If they don't look like mother, they don't look like father. They will have mixed characters. Variation. Some new character will come. Children. Very interesting. Why new character came? Because male and female gametes have fused, and a new character will come, and uh, that way that is called variation. Because here single parent is involved. The offspring looks as it is like a parent. No variation here. Yeah, no variation occurs. No variation occurs. And offspring. Offspring look. Offspring is similar to parent in all aspects. Similar to parent in all aspects. Okay, imagine if bacteria is the same or right. Bacteria divides into millions of bacteria. All bacteria look same because no variation, like that. And here, male and female gametes are fusing no children. So new character will come. Some mother character, some father character, a new character that, uh, that changes the character from parents to offspring is called variation. 
Okay, in movies they will show children as it is like a hero, his son will be there as it is like a, it won't happen in real, real life children, it won't happen. Okay, and so all films will have some variations. variations. Why? Because population are there. Now let me know anyone, is variations good or variations uh, not occurring is good children? So variation not occurring is good. Which is good? This so stuff, occurring is good. Okay. Okay, I'm mute you. Okay. So variations has to occur, children. Variations has to occur. If variations occur only, then it will be useful for evolution. Okay, children. If variation occur only, then it will be useful for evolution. If variations don't occur, it is not useful for evolution. Why? Evolution means uh, continuously we have to evolve. If you have to evolve, means changes have to occur. If no changes occurring, you will not evolve. You will remain as it is. If evolution has to occur, means uh, slow by slowly, slowly, day by day, variation, changes has to occur. No I will study forever in 10th class. No I will forever study in 9th class. What happens? You will remain like that only. Your brain will not improve. You will not change. You will not adapt. The compulsory of friends, inter, first year, fewer, less, that has degree, post graduation, PhD, your, you have to develop, you have to evolve, variation has to occur, then you will, uh, that is useful for evolution. So sexual reproduction is useful for evolution, asexual reproduction is not useful for evolution, means they are no use, only, they are useful children, I am not saying like that, which is better than sexual reproduction, is better than asexual, because variations occur, then you may say, sir, that variations may be bad too, sir, yes, if they may be variations may be good, they may be bad children. Now what I'm saying, variations is compulsory. Good changes only will come, we can't say. Bad changes also can come. But if good changes occur only, that will flourish. If bad changes are occurring, then they will extinct in the course of evolution. If bad changes, means if bad variations are coming slowly, then they will extinct in the evolution. In the course of evolution, they will become extinct. If it is a good change, then it will develop, it will flourish. Okay, children? You are, you are able to understand, so variations are very, very important. If ever they ask the difference between sexual and asexual children, you have to write all these five differences. What do you write? Here, male and female organisms are involved. Hence, male and female gametes are formed. Hence, they undergo fertilization. Hence, variations occur. Hence, it is useful for evolution. Here, only single parent is involved. Because single parent, no gametes. Because no gametes, no fertilization. Because no fertilization, no variation. Because no variation, not useful for evolution. This is the difference between sexual and Why not question in board exam? They are asking for sexual reproduction. This is okay. Gametes, no. Forms in lower gametes, fertilization, inclusion of male and female gametes is called fertilization. One more question. In Borism, they are asking different. Define fertilization. Inclusion of male and female gametes is fertilization. Define variation. Slight difference between parents and offspring is called variation. Define variation. Slight difference between parents and offspring. We don't look same for children. That small differences, that minor differences. The differences between parents and offspring is called in physical and physical appearance and even behavior appearance that's variation. And evolution. What is evolution? Definition. Evolution is gradual development. Not sudden children. Sudden means mutation. Evolution is gradual. It won't occur in one week, two weeks. It takes millions of years for evolution to occur. Gradual development of simple living organisms to complex living organisms is called evolution. Okay, children. Three definitions I told. Fertilization, fusion of male and female gametes. Variation, slight difference between parents and offspring. Evolution, gradual development of simple living organisms to complex living organisms is called evolution. I hope everyone of you understood. I will keep the video children in the description. I will give questions. Try to do on that worksheet. Once you do that worksheet, you will also understand the topic children. Do you have any doubt? Then I will tell you.